Alright, how you doing? Welcome to the Red and Black Wrestling, and I'm here with Rob Sagan of I Own the Crap. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. And he is your 170 pound uh, New York City League champion. Um, and you came in at the 2C. Um, you had a pretty impressive run into the finals, even pinning your finals opponent. Um, you stuck them very nicely. Um, so how has your, your training on and off the map been leading into this tournament? Um, you know, with COVID and everything, I wasn't really able to go to the club a lot, but I just dedicated myself to getting stronger in the off season. And every day, either um, go out and run, I do with weights, I just try and stay active as possible and push myself every day to become better. And um, I was talking to a couple of other guys, I know that I only have a very strong bond within your team. Yeah, we do. Um, everybody is almost wrestling the matches with each other, mm -hmm. uh, no matter who's out there wrestling, whether it's a couple of the third string guys or their varsity starter guys, uh, they're almost surrounding the mat, wrestling those matches with you. Um, so how does that make you feel when you wrestle and you almost take that energy and you feed off of it? Um, so what has it been like for you when you wrestle in your final set? Uh, I love it. I mean, I almost, it's like, you really do feed off of it. And it's like this, now I can't lose like mm -hmm. type of deal. And it's just great. You know, everyone on the team's great. And we're really like a big, like we're all brothers. Mm -hmm. And I know that, um, the impact of the coaches have been very strong with, with the program with uh, John Deagle and Coach Shirley. Um But what are your personal thoughts on how they've impacted you uh, on and off the mat? Um, both Coach John and Coach Shirley pushed me a lot this season. Um, they, I definitely give all the credit to them for why I'm here right now, and they just really helped me. I mean, even since the, even at the start of the season, I don't think I was where I am now mm -hmm. at all. And they really helped me make that jump. Which is very impressive. You, you walked in this tournament and pretty much walked out, which is very great. And a lot of uh, athletes can't say that they do that. Um, so it's like another dominant champ that we add to this this list. Um, where do you see yourself heading into the next uh, weekend, this upcoming weekend? Um, only wrestled uh, one kid from Long Island. It was uh, Shamanon. And I'm just looking. I want to do the best I can there. I don't really know what the competition's like, but I'm ready to go in there and see what I can do. And it's very exciting. I know there's going to be a couple of repeat matches between uh, mm -hmm. a couple of teams who did wrestle out in all, uh, Long Island. And there's going to be a couple of first matches between uh, some opponents. And there's going to be a very good wrestling all around as a whole um, this upcoming weekend. Um, where do you see Iona heading into next weekend? Yeah, we got a lot of tough guys. Um, I think we do fairly well. I think we do pretty well. We can go in there and we can we can do some damage. And I know you guys have done damage as a team uh, earlier in the season, beating St. Anthony's. Um, very close score, but you guys you guys pulled through, um, getting some very impressive wins. Um, and even uh, even if you guys didn't beat Shamanon, uh, you guys individually had pretty uh, good wins. I know Debo beat Shafano from mm -hmm. uh, Shamanon, who's a returning Catholic State finalist. Um, and he won by a very dominating score. Um, so, where do you see? Uh, I already asked as a as a team where you see Iona, but uh, where do you uh, see a couple of uh, guys? Do you see any guys uh, being almost uh, upsetting some of the other guys? Uh, I can definitely a couple see couple surprises from the Iona team. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. I can definitely see you know, Robbie Haran, Eric Grant. I'm going far as well as um, Sean. I'm getting to you. As well as uh, um, Sean. <laughs> yeah, I see those guys doing really well. And uh, also Capri Martin as well. I see them doing going really far. Really, really far. I think and I also think we have a few surprises at Bush Leaves too. Yeah, from what I saw today, um, a couple of guys were just gutting through their matches, pulling through to the very last second getting a couple of upset victories or a couple of overtime victories very well in stamina, just pulling through to the very last second. You guys can very well do a lot of damage um, this upcoming weekend. Um, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. A lot. Congratulations today. Thank you again.